Your questions for the panel are found in the My Questions screen. Remember that in this screen you will find the greeting to the panel, which you may have entered previously for your reference. Now by clicking on the blue file icon of a panelist, you can identify the missing or not listed information. Here is designated with an N, and then you can fill that out. Um, now this is the information that was deemed crucial when you were filling out the criteria, and I'll show you where that is. When you see show in courtroom right here, when you select that, that means that it will show up in the alert box. If it's not selected as the black check mark, then it won't show up in the alert box. Now since it's your turn to question, you have the ability to finish these criteria. So the age will just be scored visually. You would just look and you would say if it was beneficial or not his age to your case. And for the taxes, you would ask the question and then you would score. And the party affiliation, ask the question and score. And now you see the file box has turned white. The file boxes will also alert you to the reminders you placed in a panelist box while your opponent or the judge was questioning. In this case, the panelist had not clearly answered the question, do you have children? So you wrote possibly kids. Now you select this and then you score it. In this case, the box stays blue because there's an alert. And the alerts you do not score, they are there simply for your reference. When you view your rank order screen, the alerts are visible to you when you roll over them. Now let's look at scoring the responses to my questions. Voidir DIY offers you the freedom to approach your questions to the panel in any way you desire. You can begin with any panelist, either asking them a series of questions while you simply score the response, or you can start with one question and ask several panelists. Now you're scoring the positive response as desirable to your case and the negative or minus as not beneficial to your case. You will always be able to track which panelist has responded to which question because the color of the box becomes dimmed once you score the panelist for that question. Ask as a group is a powerful feature of the software. And here's how it works. Let's say you wanted to ask the question you added court before as a group question. So what you do is you go to my questions, you choose the question court before, and then click ask as a group. Then you ask the panel, have any of you ever been in a courtroom before? You're hoping that each had not been in a courtroom before. Only three people raise their hands, so those who have not raised their hands get a plus for their response. But you will want to ask follow-up questions of those who did raise their hands. Simply click the hand icon on those three panelists and score them individually after they've responded to your follow-up questions. Often, in order to save time, and especially with replacements, you may choose to cluster questions, that is, to ask and score several questions as one. Go to My Questions, and then choose Cluster Questions. Now you can choose the questions, and they'll stick together. Now, for instance, you might ask a replacement. Did you hear the questions I asked Mr. Green about bias and availability and willingness to follow the instructions of the judge? Do you have a problem with any of these? You may want to ask follow-up questions and then score the panelist. Now in order to return to my questions, you just click cluster questions again 
and then each question is available to be chosen by itself. Now you'll know that uh, the panelists have been scored for the questions because you can see the colors dim down even when you choose each question individually. As you are questioning, you have the ability to identify leaders and likely four persons. Simply click that button at the top of the screen. Then choose among the panelists. You can identify as many as you like and change them at any time by clicking on the symbol again. When you are finished identifying, click the button Identify Leaders and Likely Four Persons again and the designation remains in the panelist's box. A great advantage of using voir dire DIY in the courtroom is realized when it's time to review your list of questions to be sure all important items have been addressed. Now you go to My Questions and you can quickly and easily see that these three questions have been answered by every panelist because the colors are dimmed down in all the boxes. Now the fourth question you skip because it's the one you identified as a duplicate earlier. And when you go to the next question, you can see that many of the panelists have answered and you've scored them, but these you haven't had the chance to do yet. So then you take the opportunity to ask and score these panelists. There is a wealth of information available on this very easy to read screen. The number at the top center of each panelist box is their numeric score. This is an additive value of all their responses which you have scored. And remember, the percentage indicates what percentage of crucial criteria and very important and crucial questions this person has answered. There are three other things which you will want to check before you move to your rank order screen. Number one, the blue box. Make sure all reminders and missing information have been scored and only alerts remain. Now here, for instance, age is an unanswered crucial criteria, so you can visually score that. You move on to the next one. This is an alert that's not scored, but it will be visible in the rank order. Same thing here, you have another alert. There's another alert, and here's one you can ask the question, does the prospective juror own property? So you would ask them the question and then score, score their response. Two, have you scored your observations? You go to the score observation, and if there's any important things that you're viewing while that are very important to your case, you'll want to choose those and then you can score. You don't have to score each panelist for each observation, but especially the gut feeling and the gut feeling double value. Very important if you're uh, feeling that, that that's happening in your uh, panel case. And three, have leaders and possible four persons been identified? Remember, you can always select the button and go right back in and click, oh, here's another possible leader here's another possible leader, and then you keep those designations by clicking the button again. Now these features allow for a degree of thoroughness that is simply not possible using a seating chart and notes about panelists' responses, even electronically recorded notes. Now when you think you're ready to strike panelists, open your rank order chart and you go to the chart and you click on it. Rank order is based on the percent of responses and the score attained. Pay special attention to alerts, leaders, and four persons. For instance, would you like, would you want a likely four person in your red zone? Now you are ready to strike or select your panelist. In this case, we're going to strike Ben Benson. So we go back, 
click the strike button struck by me and then choose the panelist you wish to strike. And the seat will be emptied. At this point you click select all to lock in the curry jury selection before adding a replacement. You will see the select selected label on the panelist box and this will keep their scores from being affected by the responses scored for the replacement. You handle the replacement exactly as you did when your opponent had a strike. When you seat the replacement, you'll see that the juror number comes up number 14, no matter where you place the panelist. The color of the replacements box indicates the color zone they would be in if they were part of the selected jury. Now you question them, score them, and when you're ready you review the rank order until you have a panel that you like. When you're ready, just click Select All to lock them into the jury selection. If you need to select alternates, just seat them from the list. Click Identify Alternates. and then click on their name. This will cause the symbol, the A symbol, to appear before their name. The colors of the alternates boxes indicate the color zone each would be in if they were part of the selected jury. Now you treat them the same, you question them, you decide if you're going to keep them, strike them, or select them. As soon as you have chosen your alternates and, and chosen them, Click Select All to lock the entire group in. The alternates will be treated separately from the jury in your rank order report. Once your jury has been selected, use the common characteristics of the jury and the chart available to fine-tune your case delivery. Now, this screen offers a quick and simple report of which questions and criteria selected occurred 65% of the time with pluses, what you wanted, and minuses, what you hope to avoid. The data does not include alternates. Your CYA report will give you the details. This report's greatest value to you is to refute any accusations that you have struck with bias. You can print the CYA report and share it with the accuser and or the judge. More details on common characteristics will be available to you when you retrieve data for future case preparation. And we also need to point out that if there are indeed common characteristics in members which were struck by your opponent, they will show up here too. A review of the common characteristics of your opponent's strikes may offer insight into how your opponent expects to proceed with his or her case. There are lots of little extras in voir dire DIY that we haven't had the time to address yet. Special attention has been given to the use of researched base data. Incorporating questionnaire responses as selected criteria or questions using snip snag files of excerpts from police reports, news articles, or Facebook pictures found by data entry personnel that can be referenced while questioning panelists. And extensive help files, both academic and program related, including instructions for the visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learner. Instructions for those 
who like to look at pictures or just be told click this or click that, or desire the verbose, drawn-out explanation with all the whys and hows addressed. Bob Noon's Lawyer songs to keep you entertained should you read the longer narratives. Practice options boost confidence before entering the courtroom. We've also addressed the needs of trial attorneys with disabilities. Specifically, visual impairment, hearing impairment with dependency upon lip reading, ADHD with the need to reduce stimuli or reduce memory requirements, and physically impaired with limited fine motor task skills. Very soon now, we will have a commingler feature available to incorporate the user's data and an assistance data into a single rank order. The user may select the weighted level at which another's data is incorporated. This is another unique feature available exclusively in Voir dire DIY. Your benefits from using this innovative program grow with every case. While you've prepared this case and completed Voir dire, you have also produced valuable time-saving information for future cases. Your created criteria have been banked for future use. This is especially helpful if you use a standard questionnaire in your court. Your questions have been banked for future use as well. You may retrieve common characteristics of juries and outcome, one, loss, dismissed, by case type, charges, client, etc. And if you choose to participate, you may use the National Repository to retrieve the non-personally identifiable information in case summaries for cases nationwide. Thank you so much for your interest in Voir dire DIY. Here's to your success and have fun!